Hello Lana, my name is Dickens Mgalo and today we want to talk about salts. Let's start by looking at the objectives. At the end of this topic, you should be able to define a salt. Then number two, you should be able to state and describe types of salts. You are going to see we have around four types of salts. And then number three, you should be able to identify both soluble and insoluble salts. Then number four, by the end of this topic, you should be able to state uh, methods of preparing both soluble and insoluble salts. And then number five, you should be able to define the terms saturated solution, uh, crystallization, neutralization, as well as precipitation. And then number six, you should be able to write ionic equations. We shall see we are going to write ionic equations using precipitation reactions. And then number seven, you should be able to state the effect of heat on salts. We shall see salts behave differently when they are decomposed by heat. And then lastly, by the end of this topic, you should be able to state uses of salts. Having said that, let us start by knowing the meaning of the word salt. So, Lana, what is the meaning of this word salt? So, a salt can be defined as follows. So a salt can be defined as a compound that is formed when hydrogen ions from an acid are wholly or partially replaced by a positive ion. For example, if you look at this equation here, if you react, for example, a zinc metal with hydrochloric acid, you'll realize that zinc will react and the product will be uh, zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. So, Lana, we are saying that this hydrogen ion in the acid has been replaced by the positive ion, and the positive ion is zinc. As a result, the product formed is called zinc chloride, and this chlo zinc chloride is what we are calling a, a salt. So, from the definition, we are saying a salt is a compound formed when this hydrogen ion from the acid is replaced by this positive ion or a metal. So, as a result, the product that we are forming is called zinc chloride, and that is our salt. So, let's now start, let's now move on by looking at types of salt. So, we have said that salt is defined as a compound formed, a compound formed when hydrogen ions. Uh, hydrogen ions from an acid are wholly or partially uh, replaced by a positive positive ion. So a positive ion is also called a cation, which can be a metal, like for example, the example we have used above there. So next up is, I want us to look at types of salts. Let's look at types of salts. Uh, we have four types of salts, like I've said earlier. So types of salts. Types of salts. So we start by mentioning them. So the first type we call acid salt. Then number two, we have normal salt. Then number three, we have a basic salt. And then number four, we have a double salt. So Lana, we are saying we have four types of salts, uh, namely uh, acid, normal, basic, and double salt. So let us see what is the meaning of each type of salt. So we are going to start with an acid salt. So what is the meaning of the word acid salt? So an acid salt, from the word acid, in Form 1 we learned about acids and said all acids contain a hydrogen ion. So we are saying the distinction property of an acid salt is what? All acid salts, their distinction property is that all of them contain a replaceable Replaceable hydrogen ion. So, how do we identify an acid salt? An acid salt is identified by the presence of hydrogen ion. So, we are saying an acid salt can be defined as a salt that contains 
are replaceable hydrogen ions. So let's look at examples. For example, we have uh, a salt such as sodium hydrogen carbonate. From the formula learner, we can see that we have a hydrogen ion. So this hydrogen ion is the one that will make this salt to be called an acid salt because it has this hydrogen ion that will give it the acidic properties. We have another example is sodium hydrogen sulfate. So this hydrogen ion that, it pre that is present in this salt is the one that will give it the uh, acidic property. So we are saying, Lana, that an acid salt is one that contains a replaceable hydrogen ion. As you can see from these two examples, we have a hydrogen ion in the sodium hydrogen sulfate as well as hydrogen ion in the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Therefore, these two, we call them acid salts. Uh, the second type of salt is called a normal salt. So, Lana, we are saying... So, the second type of salt, we are calling it a normal salt. So, Lana, what is the meaning of the word normal salt? So, a normal salt, the definition can be obtained from the de definition of an acid salt. So, such type of salts, Lana, we are saying, these ones do not contain a replaceable hydrogen ion. So, what are they? So, we are saying, a normal salt can be defined as a salt that does not does not contain a replaceable replaceable hydrogen ion so we call it a normal salt so it's one that does not contain a replaceable hydrogen ion so let's give examples so the first example is called let me write the name sodium carbonate sodium carbonate this is how we write sodium carbonate Na2CO3. So as you can see from this formula, as student we are saying, this salt does not have a hydrogen ion and therefore we call it a, a normal salt. Example 2, we have sodium uh, sulfate. Sodium sulfate, the formula Na2SO4. As you can see from the formula, uh, the compound does not have any hydrogen ion. As a result, we call it a normal salt. So we are saying, what is a normal salt? A normal salt is the salt that does not contain a replaceable hydrogen ion. So we have these two examples, sodium carbonate and sodium sulfate. So our next, ex our next type of salt, we are saying we have a basic salt. So that's number three basic salt so in form one you learned about bases and we said bases how do you identify bases all bases are identified by the presence of hydroxide ion so for that reason when you're defining a basic salt it means a basic salt is the one that contains a replaceable hydroxide ion so we are saying what is a basic salt so a basic salt is a salt that contains a hydroxide hydroxide ions hydroxide ions uh, of course the formula is that so basic salts are identified by the presence of hydroxide ions so uh, what about example so the first example we are saying eg we have basic zinc uh, chloride. Basic zinc chloride, this is the formula. We have Zn, OH, and then Cl. So, Lana, we are saying this salt is called a basic salt because of the presence of hydroxide ions. Another example is basic magnesium, magnesium what? Chloride. So, the formula is uh, Mg, OH, then Cl. So we are saying uh, this and is also classified as a basic salt because of the presence of hydroxide ions. So we are saying uh, a basic salt is identified by the presence of hydroxide ions. Uh, the third uh, type of salt 
we are calling it a double salt. A double salt, so this is a new term we are encountering today. So a double salt is defined as a salt that contains two different cations or anions. So earlier on we, are, we defined a cation as a positively charged ion, whereas an ion is defined as a negatively charged ion. So we are saying a double salt is the one that will contain either two different cations or two different anions. So the two cations or anions should be different. So therefore we shall call it a double salt. So an example is trona. Trona, uh, this is how we write trona is a mixture of sodium carbonate with some sodium hydrogen carbonate and some molecules of water. That's an example of a double salt. So why are we calling it a double salt? Because it has a carbonate which is a radical and that radical is negatively charged. As a result, it is an ion and then it also contains hydrogen carbonate. So this carbonate and this hydrogen carbonate are different. Are different what? Anions. Uh, therefore, we classify this as an example of a double salt because it has a carbonate which is different from hydrogen carbonate and the two are found in the same salt. Another example is a uh, uh, ferrous ammonium sulfate. Uh, this is the formula for ferrous ammonium. It's a mixture of ammonium sulfate and iron 2 sulfate. So this I will write it. FeSO4 Of course, sulfate has a valency of 2 with some sick molecules of water. So, Lana, we are saying this salt is classified as a double salt. Why? From the definition, it has this cation, that is ion 2. It also contains ammonium. So this one is a positive ion, and we know positive ions are called cations. This one is another positive ion, which is called ammonium ion. So the two are different, and the two are found in the same uh, salt. So therefore, this salt is classified as a double salt. So we are saying that we have four types of salts. We have, uh, we have acid salt, we have normal salt, we have basic salt, and we have a double salt. So we have defined each as what? Just a quick recap of that. We have said uh, an acid salt, an acid salt is identified by the presence of hydrogen ions. We have said a normal salt. Uh, the definition can be gotten from the definition of an acid salt, which we have said a normal salt is defined as a salt that does not contain a hydrogen ion. And then we have said a basic salt is identified by the presence of hydroxide ions. And then lastly, we have said a double salt is the one that contains two different what? Cations or anions. So we have come to the end of our lesson. Let's... Uh, I want you to try these questions. Uh, so the first question I want you to try is, uh, I want you to try and define the meaning of the word salt. And then number two, uh, giving examples, uh, define, types of salts. So try those two and I believe you should be able to answer. So we have come to the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for being a good student. I'll see you in the next lesson.